I almost didn't go skating today. The thought of being lazy and taking a nap on the couch was far more greater than the idea of going skating, but I pushed through with the intention of doing something even when I didn't particularly feel like it to condition my mind and discipline myself to go skate no matter what. The first half of the session felt like a balance between having the most fun just riding around on my board and pacing myself so I could warm up and not get too far ahead of myself. The entire time I was on my board I kept an open mind to what could be, what I could possibly do. Instead of being closed minded and sticking to the tricks I know I can do but don't gain any real motivation or hype from. This allowed me to skate freely and really feel out my board again. I felt like a kid on Christmas morning kicking around a new soccer ball. That freedom and excitement lit the flames in my belly to a greater level and it felt like I unlocked something within myself. A new lease on life and a new understanding of passions. I took this spooky fall and it rocked me a bit to the point of not wanting to try it again in account of getting hurt so I left it be for the meantime. Just when I thought it was safe, I was playfully skating this ledge when I got stuck on this back tail and fell pretty hard onto my left wrist. While I was driving home, I felt kind of negative and stupid, like why am I doing this shit for? But ultimately, I told myself it was all part of the game and you can't take getting injured personally due to the fact that it happens to everyone and skateboarding will never be fair. In the last video, I kind of talked about feeling like I was just going through the motions and not really enjoying things. It kind of forced me to step back and look at the things I was doing and kind of made me question why I was doing them and what kind of ultimately drawn me to doing them and like all these feelings of excitement and passion and understanding and kind of humbleness too came flooding back so i feel like now like as humans we're passionate about things whether it be like skateboarding or riding dirt bikes or whatever playing hacky sack i don't know there's all these things we keep as humans that we do that kind of feed that passion and that drive and i feel like passion is the like the the nectar of life if that makes sense i'm not trying to sound too philosophical here but with this new understanding it's helped me out so much i don't feel as stuck anymore and i feel like i'm back on the track of like pushing and working towards where i want to be and it's helped me a lot even in my life outside of skateboarding just in my work life in general and like the things that I want for myself and the things that I want for my life. Like life is great right now. I mentioned in the last video, I asked my girlfriend to marry me. This is my girlfriend, Rachel. How long have we been together now? Almost two years. Almost two years. Can't be without you. I need to be with you always, forever. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can you marry me? Yes, of course I will. <laughs> We actually went and got the marriage license done the other day at the clerk's office, that was fun. But yeah, all these things are happening, all these gears are turning and I can also find motivation and drive from other people. Like I have a friend of mine, Mitch, he started tattooing at the shop I was at back home in my hometown. He was an apprentice and now he's killing it. Like he does really sick tattoos. He's in Europe right now. He was tattooing in Amsterdam. Um, I think he's going to France next for tattooing. And it's just crazy to see that gives me a lot of motivation and passion as well. Yeah, I just feel like that weight of going through the motions and just being stuck is completely gone and lifted. And there is new opportunities on the horizon and there is new things right around the corner. But with that being said, I need to step out of my comfort zone again. I stepped out of my comfort zone, moving up here to America from Sydney. And then I got comfortable again, as I said, and as I talk about just wanting to like sit on the couch and be lazy. Now I have to step out of that comfort zone again and then like do things that scare me and do things that are risks, calculated risks really. So that's the next plan of attack for my life right now. Very excited. And I'm glad you guys are here supporting and watching. I really appreciate the support and love means the world. I set up a new board. It's a curb board. I got some little boardy cakes wheels off Spencer, so I chucked them on it. I had recorded the whole board setup. I just put rails on it today actually, but um, I accidentally deleted it off my memory card on my camera. So I'll show you guys anyway. So this is it right here. I've never ever 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 in my life skated wheels this small. They are 44s 
as you can see and uh, they are tiny I don't think even when I was a kid and I had to skate the same wheels for like three years I never let my wheels get this small but this is one of the blank shapes I got online when I was looking for blanks um, the nose is a bit long and the tail is a bit long so it's a weird shape so I figured it'd be a cool curb board and I threw on some rails this morning I didn't have a drill though, I just kind of screwed them in by hand with the screwy, so hopefully they stay put. I'm just at this spot right now. Come across this red curb on Google Earth as I do doing my recons. Um, it has some potential, it's a bit of like an uphill as you can see, but it is a very very long red curb and there's another corner up there that scoots around like that one. It does not look like it's been skated either. Um, it looks pretty fresh. I thought it'd be cool if we, if I could like dig out the inside here so you could skate it this way and then see if you could board slide down but it's a fair amount of digging and I'd have to come at night at some like black ops type of business here. I've been spending so much time at my girlfriend's place and um, unfortunately there isn't a lot to skate out here so I'm trying to be creative and it's taking me back to my roots of looking for things to skate and possibly building things to skate again so i'm pretty excited about that this may be the first little spot that i get my little hands on to make it a bit more skatable and fun <laughs> That was so good. Fuck yeah. Woo. Didn't think I was gonna get it. Oh yeah. Good shit. Thank you, sir. Let's have a look. Yes. Yes. Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, 